things are running today. A lot of folks are out and about. Our guy is right there. We will hopefully be tomorrow. Hopefully. Don't know. Well, guys, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all. Welcome to Hard Tongue Family Farms. And today, it is Friday afternoon. I'm off work for the day. And we're going to be getting some stuff done. Hopefully, hopefully, finishing our chopping. Uh, it's been two days since the last video. Um, we, you know, we started chopping our eelage pit on Wednesday. The guys uh, did a custom job and then continued chopping eelage uh, tomorrow, yesterday afternoon. Started around three, got about six hours in or so. And I, oh, it's going to be tough if we actually can get it done today. But we'll see. All we can do is try. So let's get up to the farm and give it a shot. Looks like FFA tractor ride. Something for uh, their school, I'm guessing. All right, because I know it's something for school. So I'm going to turn around and head to the gravel. Running some beans. Running wagons. As you can see, um, they chopped quite a bit. Quite a bit. They're chopping right now. Pushing them up the pile. At some point, we'll start going down the pile. They've been uh, hard at it. I just talked to Curtis. 55 loads is where we're at right now. So I'm gonna run back and go check on some beans, see how close they're getting. The hay is uh, probably not gonna go today. We have some hay that's raked up that needs to dry out some, but it's just not drying. Wheat that we drilled hasn't germinated yet. Just kind of sitting in dry dirt right now. Waiting on the rain, which we might not get for a little while. Just kind of gloomy out, but it's uh, it's not looking good as far as rain in the forecast goes. Planted bean field, obviously not this, but this is, and it's uh, getting pretty close. I think it'll go. Yeah, I definitely think it'll go. Well, there's still some yellow in there. Compacted spots are never good to look at because that's just not a good representative of your field. Like I said, your field usually isn't this good or isn't that compacted. So you walk out here a little ways, some green stems in here, which is gonna make combining it tough. Obviously running green stuff through a combine is a lot worse than uh, running uh, dead powder dry stuff through, but I think these beans will go. And there's a lot of them out here too. Just grabbed them from the bottom. They thresh open good. You got a bite to them. Probably 12, 11%. So I think we should be, I think we should get on these things. But I guess we'll see. We'll see what the boss man says. See the job we're doing. Chopping along. We've done about, I don't know, 50, 60 acres or so that we've chopped. Coming along. You guys remember when I said I wish I had a workbench? Well, my sister-in-law's car is my workbench. Let's get going. I got a beautiful raised garden bed from Landguard. And thank you guys for sponsoring this video. Let's get into it. Phew. I think I didn't know that. Let's make this even easier. This thing's pretty reasonably uh, priced for how well it's built. So what it is, is this is a raised garden bed. I chose a one foot tall by three foot wide by six foot long. So here we are. I'm in the process of filling up my raised garden bed. So these beds by Landguard are made of high quality stuff. This is durable material. Man, just look how smooth those edges are. They're not sharp at all. The stabilizer rod in the middle does a really nice job and it's fastened together very well. As you can kind of see it's very thick steel. They're corrosion resistant, the paint is very good, and it was actually very easy to install. Like I said guys, this raised garden bed by Landguard is gonna be a great addition to my family's, uh, to my family's garden. And like I said, good landscaping ground because it's very aesthetically pleasing. So let's go ahead and plant some seeds. Okay, fast forward a little bit. I got her, got her situated. Let's go ahead and plant a couple seeds and uh, see if I can get anything to grow late in the year. Okay, 
looks pretty good. I hope it'll grow. You guys are going to want to check your ears out today. Go ahead and hit, check out the link in the description right now to go ahead and order yours today. They have lots of selection, lots of styles. You won't regret it. Thanks again for laying guard for sponsoring this video. So change of plans. I'm actually going to haul a little bit of grain. that wagon real quick get it out of that's way is that pull this thing out of here so we can only keep we only need two uh, boxes to keep up And now we're good. Now this thing's out of the way. It's not uh, well, it's not in Pat's way for uh, chopping on this next one. And hopefully, I'm about to move this truck. Hopefully, Heinz in the way. Gotta move this thing. Oh, I love this tractor. Gotta get this thing out of the way so I can. Uh, have room to pull the semi through. Good enough. That's what's work. Getting their fill up. <laughs> <laughs> Whoop. <laughs> She's full. Heading south, one more, two more, and then a full of corn. Let's go. Have a payday. Nice. Doing some beans. Just about there. Right at closing time, too. I'm having a good weekend. You as well. They are done for the day. Some of them are done for the week. Because it is right at three o'clock. Um, excuse me, sir. You are a beaver and you are a long ways away from any body of water. Unless you're chewing on corn, what in the heck are you doing? Seriously, look at this guy. What are you munching on, buddy? What are you munching on? Goodbye. Let's go dump. There's another one. What the heck? There's at least a little bit of water, but geez, they're just eating corn. Okay, let's head home. I load up again and then see what we do. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a John Deere 4955. Nope, 4960. It's close. Oh, that was uh, FFA tractors. That'll work. That'll work. Now this is filling up. I'm uh, checking what all needs grease or can get grease. Looks like this one can, but it's uh, turned backwards. Probably open that up real quick. Building. And Uncle Bun's working on the uh, bean header. Not overhead. Building. All right, let's go grease the, uh, the axles are here. Well, they're actually the brakes, so... Can I get a ride, sir? Can I get a ride? 
Thank you, actually, it was going to slow down for me. So we are uh, moving to a new field. So we opened up this field. We like to use the chopper to uh, open up fields because, uh, for one, we can. But for two, it's much easier for us to open it up right now when we don't have a whole lot else going on. Yeah, we have some soybeans that probably should be harvested, but you know what? This is what it is. So we actually opened up this field, opened up that field, opened up that field, opened up the 15-inch corn, our NCGA plot, and yeah. So yeah, uh, I am going to go grab the four-wheeler take it over go grab the drone go fly the drone for a little bit and then i'm gonna go grab the uh 190 pick up a wagon nathan is uh nathan dropped a wagon off for pat because he's using that to open up the far side of the field here we go As I'm flying the time lapse, let's go hook onto this wagon and unload it. Give those guys some time to get caught up. There goes Nathan. And I'm not sure what those guys are doing. Is he open? This was a full load in here. They must not have liked me parked the semi right here. Don't know why. This must not have. Okay, time to unhook this guy and go hook on the one that Pat was just filling up that you guys saw on the drone. Our attention to the beeps, but hooked on and we are going to go back and milk this if traffic wasn't ridiculous. Now we are going to start dumping it up on top. So like I said on the previous GoPro, Mike's is switching between GoPros here. But basically it's getting too steep. Curtis cannot make it up, cannot push it, push the pile up. So now instead of uh, kind of pushing up on top of the hill, we're going to keep it on top and he's going to push it outward. So he's just uh, pushing the pile back. I'll show you what I mean. So he's just compacting that pile and going to push it up. Up and as we go down the hill. Hey, glad we got that extra cement. Definitely need it. I am done with this, I think, because I only need two because we're going so close. So... We'll uh, go see if Bunny needs any help. They might go ride around with Pat for a little bit. Then I'm not sure what the plan is. Bun's working on the head. Give me a drink. I had me fish for dinner. Oh, really? Hey, remember I said I was done? Nope. Basically, uh, Kirk's tractor broke down for a second. At least we thought we did. So they're stacked up at the pit. So. I am going to go grab a loop. Got quite a bit down out of these fields. So we're working on this piece right here. It's a 40. And we'll get the end rows chopped off and get probably 10 acres out of it. Ish. That pit's getting kind of full. We might finish it tonight. Just have to see. Stuff is green in through here. Very, very green. 
Man, this corn is tall. Very, very tall. It's as tall as Pat's head in the chopper. The chopper's 12 feet tall, so this corn's 11 feet ish. A lot of plant material coming through here. So you point it this way, so I'm guessing we're going back the way we just came? I don't know. chopper is it is something that literally just quite frankly pulverizes everything that it eats when i say pulverizes it basically just chops it up into little itty bitty pieces spits it out and it allows uh it basically gets put in a bunk and goes gets to our cattle feed so they're expensive machines but they're pretty cool because all they do is literally drive and crush and chop that, that's literally all they do it's a pretty it's a pretty neat machine there's the big dog, the big D. What a guy. Nope. Kind of neat when you're just on top of the world. Curtis is just topping off the edges. See? That's a little overfill. Overflow. Okay. Now I think we are done. B-U-N. So let's uh, buzz around on the four-wheeler real quick. See what we got to see. Oh, here they are. Might hop in with Pat if we can. Choppers just sound awesome, guys. I know I really can't convey it that well through the camera, but it just sounds and smells mean. stuff everywhere that's for sure let's go hurry up burning daylight yeah 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 uh, one two three four I'm gonna count rows tall stuff for whatever variety this was what time are you doing something well that was fun I'll roll with Chip Pat for a round. And uh, we are quitting for the night because it's homecoming. Pat's got to hand out Tootsie Rolls and I'm not sure what else he's got to do tonight, but we'll hit it back in the morning, I suppose. It's always fun to do this. Whee! Some green stuff over here. Okay, things are winding down, so Pat's heading to the uh, game. Bun and Curtis are finishing up that uh, header there. Nathan and I are going to finish chores and maybe see if the combine will start. TBD on that one. So I got to take good old 966, drive it for a second time today. I am honored. I usually don't help with chores, so I don't get to do this very much. Let's go. So they'll start to fill this guy up. Just two augers mixing. Or four augers, I should say. And I know, I know, I've been te teasing you all uh, video, but here is our new farm equipment. So we rented a Calmer 15 inch corn head. And here it is, brand new, never seen crap before. 
You guys are wondering how the heck you guys going to uh, harvest that uh, 15 inch corn? Well, this is how. Pretty sweet. It's a calmer, I believe, uh, 1615. So it's 16 rows and it's really hard for you guys to see. I apologize for that. We'll have to get her out of here at some point here this week. I believe we are. So 16 rows by 15 inches wide. Pretty sweet. Like I said, not a whole lot to it, except just double the amount of rows. Deuce ear toss, run feeder house jack shaft at max speed. Huh. Well, cool. So yeah, there's our uh, new farm equipment. We rented it, uh, picked it up last or a couple days ago, and we'll use it for a couple weeks and return it. Be a neat little, uh, like I said, it's cool that Calmar gives us that option to, you know, be innovative and try, try some new things like 15 inch corn on our farm, see if it matters and makes a difference. Got another gorgeous Iowa sunset. Just straight gorgeous. Guys are getting hungry, so I'm actually gonna go plug the uh, trickle charger into the combine and we're gonna see if the combine will start. <whistles> Fancy. Plugging it in. Oh, you guys can't see. I thought maybe cook for a little bit. Let's see if she can get fired up. Yep, let's go. Come on, yep. Come on. Yeah. Let's go on. Come on, biggins, let's go. Clear these guys out. Open that gate. Come back here and open this gate. Come on. Let's go. Turn around, you. Come on. Come on. Okay, you can eat now. So we're feeding cattle. This is how uh, we do this five times a day, twice here because these guys, we have a lot of cattle in here. And then uh, we have three other yards we do this on. Yummy. All right. Well, so that's a good sign. Dang it. He's gonna go feed cattle down at uh, Baton Rondas, and I'm gonna head to Grandma's. The guys are still working on the head, Curtis and Bun are. I'm gonna go say hi to Grandma. Hi, Curtis. That's Cat Curtis. What are you shut down for tonight? Yeah, Dad's got that, he had to go to his football game. Hi, Grandma. Always gotta wash your hands before you go see grandma. There I gotcha. Thank you. Well, that sounds good, grandma. I'll see you in the morning. Okay, do. Have a good night. Yeah, I hope you have good luck going home. Me too. And I got dark quick. I am gonna head home, guys, and I'm gonna wait to talk to you till I get a car or get in my car and uh, light turns on. That was a good night. Got real close on the pit, probably 10 to 20 more loads left. So we'll finish that up tomorrow and maybe even get some combining done. So anyway, appreciate you guys so much for watching as always. Take care, take it easy, stay safe, stay out of trouble. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram and stay classy San Diego. Have a good night, bye-bye.